Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Nev from Nev's Tech Dump here. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, how you can destroy cockroaches living in your hardware. Just recently, I went over to a friend's place and uh, they failed to tell me that uh, their house was cockroach and bed bugs infested. So I had to be very careful with all of my stuff uh, coming home. And that was a real adventure, let me tell you. My wife was creeped out for days after I got home. I had to strip naked on the back deck in the snow and walk in naked as the way God made me because I did not want cockroaches in my place. If you have cockroaches, you poor person. And I, ho I hope the best for you. And uh, I hope you can figure it out. But if you get a, an apartment complex, you got multiple people living there, you darn near have to spray the whole thing. And I feel for you. Jeez, I feel for you. But anyways, so cockroaches like to get into electronic devices because they're warm. Uh, they're a safe place. And uh, for the most part, unless you got a spider in there, nothing's going to eat them. By the way, spiders love cockroaches. But anyways, the way you deal with cockroaches in electronics devices is you put them in a paper or a plastic bag and you tie them up and you leave it for about a month and you starve those suckers. I left mine out in the garage in uh, in sub-freezing weather. Of course, sub-freezing isn't good for your electronics because uh, when things get warm, when things get cool, they flex. And when things flex, they... Uh, there's a possibility that you can break the solder. That's the biggest problem. A puppy dog here wants to say hello. Say hello, puppy dog. Hello, hello. But yeah, that's the best way to do it. Put those suckers in bags and get those bags away from your place. Now, uh, if you take your Xbox over to somebody who has cockroaches, definitely, definitely do this. It's not worth having to fight the cockroaches at your house. These things happen, don't worry about it, but uh, <clears throat> just make sure you don't bring anything home to your wife or she'll kick your ass. And if you don't have a wife, don't bring anything home, period, or you won't have a wife. Anyways, happy wife, happy life, right? Anyways, that's it from me and the morning puppy dog. Good luck with your problems, guys. Catch you later.